Hello everyone, before we proceed with the topic of uh, basic statistics and of course the technical terms about the topic, uh, I would just to I would just like to appreciate those individuals, of course the students, our practicing psychologists and psychometricians who really uh, give importance to statistics as applied um, tool for psychology, particularly in educational industrial and even in clinical settings okay so one way or the other you will encounter human resource practitioner data analyst admissions officers or a psychometrician in industrial clinic and you will and if you will ask them about their practice in uh, psychometrics or in psychology they are likely using statistics most of the time so even in simple household chores you might be unaware that you are using some descriptive statistics and how you frequently using or consuming particular products so or how much a percentage you're allocating to some certain budget or you may also be a grid conscious individual so you might be want to recognize the criteria of your professors to certain requirements on what are the percentage of these requirements so these are descriptive statistics so i can say that a statistics is something that we use most of the time but this time we will use statistics to gain insight into human psyche okay so you may also encounter individuals in the field of psychology here in the philippines or outside the country be it online or even offline maybe one of them can be your friend your classmate or loved one who might be clueless about the use of statistics with psychology okay can you relate with this one okay or simply you may reflect based on your own observation on how you appreciate statistics as one of the languages of psychology. Now, if you took personality assessment in the previous um, uh, semester, you might have encountered some uh, self-report uh, inventory such as personality test or uh, intelligence test. So the choices for each item might uh, include a Likert scale, okay? So one of the applications uh, here is uh, considerably is statistics, okay? And if you are starting to have this insight that statistics is an essential uh, part of psychology, I am very optimistic that you will be one of those individuals who will enlighten uh, Filipino people or other experts in the uh, this field that psychology re really requires statistics as its tool for decision making be it in industry be it in school and even in clinical settings okay so most of the approaches in psychology nowadays are likely driven with that the data or data we get from various instruments and psychological assessment tools being retrieved uh, from our clients or respondents or participants in our studies. So from the time we entered this program in psychology, you might be thinking that psychology has something to do with understanding human behavior. Of course, that's true. And as we gradually share insights from our lecturers, our friends, professors or classmates, or even uh, professionals outside our schools, you may find, uh, you may find that... Uh, Understanding human behavior really requires a step-by-step -step process and sometimes it requires testing, assessment, and other competencies or trainings in order for us to really understand even a single factor in a personality, okay? So we're also oriented that uh, this program is not just about um, administration of a pen and paper or um, test or operating a computer to conduct a certain test now this is a not a mindless um, field of expertise so this field of expertise really um, require us to have a certain knowledge of what we are trying to understand okay simply we have to get into very particular details on what we want to measure okay and of course the gathered data, for example, coming from our studies, uh, can be more sensible through uh, 
data analysis or data analysis such as uh, using regression analysis, correlation analysis, or even uh, factor analysis. Alright, so factor analysis, for example, was being used by uh, psychologists like um, Raymond Cattell and uh, the Macri and Costas uh, Big Five. So they utilize this uh, kind of statistics, which is why we have uh, factors like the ocean or the openness consciousness, extraversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. Okay. And of course, some psychologists might uh, use different uh, assessment tools for us to understand really uh, with the use of um, several uh, quantitative tools and qualitative tools. And we want to correlate each and one so we can come up with uh, some decision making and truly really answer, for example, in clinical setting, the, um, the referral questions or uh, in industrial setting, we want to know if there are uh, some differences between uh, uh, approaches or uh, tools that we are using inside the organization or what are the most efficient tools that we can use for in order for us to have um, the quality that we want to see among our uh, employees and employees yet, right? So these are some of the practices that we do in order for us to come up with a scientific uh, use of uh, psychology nowadays, okay? We were also oriented that in the previous lessons that basic statistics or in uh, behavioral statistics, the several terminologies that we use with uh, quantitative uh, characteristics of uh, personality inventories, okay, for example, uh, we may know that uh, about the dependent and independent variables. Of course, we also want to know about the um, correlation studies and experimental study. By the way, I have a separate uh, discussion about experimental uh, research, so you may also visit this one. Okay, and of course, um, you may want to know, for example, in a industrial uh, industrial setting or HR uh, setting, uh, they may be using uh, experimental research so we can uh, come up with some decision on what um, tools can be used to really optimize or to really um, maximize these um, tools and see the results for the better uh, performance of the whole company so okay so they might be using uh, several statistical procedures such as a t-test analysis of variance depending on the uh, course on how many groups or uh, how what are the characteristics of the groups that they are uh, that they are trying to observe okay so but this lecture series okay but in this lecture series we will be focusing on statistical methods that we want to use with test development okay so we will see you in the next discussion